Good morning everyone, hope everybody's doing well. It's looking like another beautiful day. So I'm going to spend it in the garden. Now we've been spending a lot of time in the garden and it's really led us to appreciate what wildlife we've got. <clears throat> so as part of a project for the kids, what they've been doing is um, we've been finding as many bugs as we can in the garden um, and, and trying to identify them. And it's kind of led us on to what we can do to improve the habitat for them, for the, for the, the good bugs. Oh yeah, <coughs> perfect. I've got some stuff out of the garage, look at what I've found. Oh, that's a lot I think the bees like these, so, uh, it feels like so if we if we put the, the hotel here, and that's facing mm -hmm. south, it'll be perfect. I'll just try and, they like these purple flowers. So I'm going to use this as my width. Okay. Nice. <coughs> These are going to build the sides of me. I build it like that because I need holes that are about 100mm deep. And if I put two together, I don't want I don't want to go into this gap so that the be the holes kind of moisture can get in the hole because what? Oh, hi then. So those are going to be their sides. Yeah, those are going to be our sides. The buckets are. I'm going to put a pilot all in so that when I put the screw in, yeah, I, um, I the wood doesn't split. There's okay. a little Because like, we can only use we've got like what we can find. Things. We've got tons of things, I think, at once. This is shadow point. He's basically just screaming. one side and the reason I've done it like that okay is because I'm going to drill into each of these
Have you got a design plan? No. No, no, it's making it up no, as you go along. No, I'm making it up as I go along. I did have a design plan, but uh, yeah. I've got to work with what I've got, really. So, what a see how it goes. Like I was explaining to the kids, you've got to <coughs> you've got to drill in at least 100 mil. What these solitary bees do, the female goes in, mm -hmm. lays the eggs, lays the female ones at the back, mm -hmm. and the male ones near the front. Mm -hmm. The male ones come out first. They hatch first. Yeah. So the male ones have got to be at the front, so the hole's got to be deep enough right. <coughs> so that the bee can lay, lay the female ones at the back. So the male hatches, what she does is she lays her eggs and then seals this, the little plug up with uh, bits of dust and uh, that's why they call them mason bees, because they, they fill it with bits of mud and uh, rubble, okay, and the male bee hatches comes out and then hovers around then later the females hatch and mm -hmm. the males mate with the the females okay. and the, I, I don't think the males have stingers but the females do but they don't well they're non-aggressive so they don't they don't really sting and the only thing the, male, <coughs> the, the only thing the male does is <coughs> the only job it has is reproduce work and then die so Bit like uh, all males. Yeah, a bit like all males. Really. <laughs> so apparently, they, have we ever seen one? Yeah, yeah. There's, there's been loads on the uh, flowers this morning. All oh, right. Over there, that's that's where I'm going to put it. Well, apparently, they they pollinate like thousands of times, thousands more plants mm. than only bees or bumblebees. Because mm -hmm. that, that's all they do is go from flower to flower collecting pollen, so they, they, they use them in orchards as um, the really good pollinators. Mm -hmm. Right, let's get on with it. Okay. So it's important. I've seen I've seen a few YouTube videos where when you're drilling out the wood, get a proper wood wood drill mm -hmm. like that 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 brings out the sawdust. Right. Otherwise, if you watch loads of YouTube where they're, where they're drilling them, they're using uh, metal, they're using steel oh, yeah. and plastic drills, and you can see the wood smoking as they're, as they're going in because it's just heating the wood up. Right. What you want is a proper, you need a, a proper pointed wood drill. These, you see the twist on it, yeah. it brings all the the wood and sawdust up, and it's, it's much more efficient. And I think the holes, I think you're, you're doing from between three mil. And up to about 10 mil, any any bigger, and the the, the too big for UK bees. Yeah. So mm. I'm going to do some varying size holes um, from about th four mil to. <coughs> I'll do a few at 10 as well. Mm. So DIY mm. tip of yeah. the day. Yeah.
you spotted a bee thing? Or is it a wasp? Yeah, drill a few in that bit, in between these. Just don't don't drill there, there or there. Just drill around this top bit here, yeah? Um, Put your... Yeah, right down, nice and straight. That's it, push down on it. Go on, right down. Okay, and now pull out. That's it, All right, do a few more. What you've got to think, okay, the screw's going through there and there, so if you kind of put them in between these here, just position them, oh, yeah. yeah, that's it, yeah, perfect. The important thing is, is to try and keep the drill straight. Yeah, try and keep it as, as vertical as possible. Just enough. Perfect. A little bit off each one. Okay.
Thank you, ma. Now he's back in, isn't he? Mm. Yeah. I'm pleased with that. shed I found this which is actually proper slatted uh, so it's tapered so that's outdoor stuff so that's going to sit on top like that okay Of it done. So, plenty of holes there for the bees. We'll see how they get on. I could always add more, There's loads of loads of space to add more, but we'll see how we get on with that. This is our first one, isn't it? So, you know, the uh, roof's just sloped enough to keep the bees dry. I think I'm going to put it on a platform just here. It's not too close to the house and it's facing south so it's going to get quite a nice bit of sun. That's, that's quite important. with my sledgehammer but I've left it at work so glance just so I don't damage the top of this obviously watch your fingers right that's gonna be in enough Just to keep it straight. So this, you know, this is your. Uh, oh um, no! It's a spirit level. So it tells us <coughs> whether the level to gravity. So you see this bubble? Yeah, I want that bubble right in the middle of the. So I've got to knock this one down a bit further. So that the bubble, what will happen is, I want the bubble there, okay? Mm -hmm. Pretty close. One more hit. Okay. Two. Okay. Right, 
So now let's get filling it with some stuff, eh? Let's give Logan a shout. Oh, they're not come off. I think we'll, we'll pop it in. Uh, we'll pop it in here. I'm gonna tie them in a little bundle, yeah? So they don't go everywhere. The best sauce to cook bamboo is either a tenant sauce or a, a, a hack sauce. The wood sauce too. The teeth are too large. Daddy. That one's yeah, it's a slightly bigger one, so maybe, maybe a bigger. Or maybe in one of these. Dips. Yeah, I think they'll. I think they'll like the bamboo. Mm. And I think they'll like all these holes. 
Okay. How do you think, <laughs> Millie? How do you think we'll know when a bee's laid its eggs in those holes of the bamboo? Because if there's an egg in it. Yeah, and what else does the bee do? They, After it's laid an egg, what does it do? They put all that stuff in, don't they? It seals up the entrance. So it lays its eggs, and then it seals up the entrance. Ah. And it uses... That's nice. It uses little bits of building material, like sand and grit. That's why they call them mason bees. And it'll be interesting to see which size holes they favour. Mm. You know, whether they, it's the smaller ones or the slightly bigger ones. I mean, these are... 10 mil, I think, is about the, the maximum that you can go to for British bees. Any bigger, I don't think they like it, but we'll see. There's a little bit of water for them. <clears throat> I've read not to put not to put water in front of where the holes are, because when the young bees come out, they can't always fly, and they sometimes mm -hmm. drop into the water. So if we put it right. to the sides there, mm -hmm. it should be okay for them. <clears throat> and obviously you've got, to, you've got to put a roof on because uh, the main thing is is that water doesn't get inside when they've laid their eggs. You'd be attracting plant, right? Yeah, well they like these. Are these primrose? Yeah. They like these and the purple ones, so... Right, thanks for watching everyone. Bye, I hope you've enjoyed our bug hotel building video. We think it's turned out rather good. We'll do some time lapses of it. Um, mm -hmm. Showing the bees going in. We've got the bees when, a place to drink. Yeah, when they, uh, when they start going in it. So, yeah. thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye.